Look what man has done. So we are here again in Havana to celebrate the ninth International Cocktail Grand Prix of Havana Club. Uh, 40 competitors from 38 different countries have gathered in what is the birthplace of light rum. The process uh, is fairly simple. You win the national competition and you win a trip to Havana to compete with the best. It's, it's such an honor to be here in Havana. You know, it's, it's the, the heart of kind of the cocktail culture for, you know, rum. It's the center of all of that. So to be part of it, see how it links into Havana Club, how ingrained that is in the culture, it's incredible. When we start to talk to people, to the local people, and when we find out that they have a joy to live, exceptional, and that they are super gentle, it's where we start to have a lot of affection for this city. We want to represent the Swedish flag, the, the Swedish colors. So we're, we're both competing as a team, but of course we're rivals as well. Both me and Jacob drinks, uh, it's really good. Uh, of course mine is a little bit better. If it's only up to two of us, then anything is accepted. What is a bartender? That's the question, and that's what we're here to find out. Drinks quality is rising and rising and rising all over the world. It's not really just enough to make a well-crafted cocktail. It's about embodying the spirit and hospitality and care and craft of what a bartender actually is. What Havana Club uh, Grand Prix has uh, achieved that no other cocktail competition has done is to integrate all different styles of bartending from all around the world. Exceptionally, this year we decided to allocate two places uh, for the semi-finals, uh, two random people from around the world who would uh, be selected through their drinks. So for this, we set up a contest in, um, on Facebook uh, on a special page. What was more surprising though was the quality of the recipes that we received. We found that the most interesting drinks came uh, from a participant from Sweden, uh, one of the two, and uh, a very young gentleman from uh, New Zealand. Coming from a family of bartenders, it's pretty amazing to sort of uh, hear so much about Cuba. I've studied a lot about Cuba and its cocktail history. I, I've I have three or four really old cocktail books from La Floridita, uh, Bogueta da Medio. I've got a couple of original books from there. To go from reading original books to being in that bar drinking that cocktail is... It's, it's amazing. It's, it's just like reading a book on the moon and then being on the moon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ninth Havana Club International Cocktail Grand Prix. surprise for me because uh, there was a lot of good bartenders from Czech Republic. It's a very uh, popular, popular uh, competition in Czech Republic and all drinks were there really, very nice and uh, so I was surprised. I'm a little bit nervous but it's normal I think. It's definitely an achievement to be here. Um, but yeah, it's also extremely humbling, you know what I mean, knowing that you know there's some amazing bartenders from all over the country or all over the world I mean rather. But, um, but yeah, so knowing that you know my drinks might be up to their standards, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and very nerve-wracking as well at the same time. Like. Now we're on our way to go and see the competitors at the Sevilla Hotel. Start a long day of tasting great cocktails. <laughs> 
Are we going up there? The original iconic bars in the whole of the history of rum. We're in front of Hotel Sevilla, a hotel of significant historical importance. This is where the first bartending school uh, in Cuba opened its doors. And until today, bartenders, in order to be called cantineros and get their license, they have to get trained in the school uh, next to Hotel Sevilla. And some of the most important uh, classic Cuban cocktails were invented or developed here. jury aujourd'hui on a quand même euh, l'un des plus grands cantineros euh, du Floridita. Euh, on a des personnes comme Ian Burrell qui est quand même juste euh, un monstre du bar. Euh, voilà, c'est quand même pas euh, sans rien et, et, et le lieu est juste encore une fois magique. Everyone else has got some pretty big, elaborate kind of things, so I'm just going to nut my stuff out and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the semi-finals of the 9th Havana Club International Cocktail Grand Prix. Each competitor must prepare two original cocktails using Havana Club as base. All competitors will have three minutes to set up on stage and ten minutes to prepare two drinks, one of each category. It's tough being a judge on, over here as well because there is so much passion from the bartenders. All the bartenders who come here really want to win. But for the ones that you have to unfortunately, you know, kind of send away as such, it is kind of heartbreaking in a way. You've come all the way to Havana, which is a mecca for bartenders. And to, to tell them that that dream is over, I suppose, is a bit sad in a way. Well, it's kind of, it's real, I think, probably. It's, it's very real when you're out here, you know? It's like I'm saying, uh, it's, uh, it's guerrilla warfare, you know? It's hot, your ice melts, you've got to kind of be tasting your limes, you've got to really push yourself. Um, you know, and, and for me, kind of like, you know, and you've got the judges are just some of the, you know, the most in incredible people. Uh, your peers, people you're kind of bartending against, it really, really pushes you in so many different ways. It's hard to say, it's like another day in the bar, because it's a competition, you know. Everybody try to be like in a bar, but it's not possible to be just like that and calm down and like this now. It's kind of special to stay here. Sugar! No, no, fue, no es cuestión de ganar, es cuestión que el cliente, que en ese caso ha sido el jurado, que disfrute y que vea una sorpresa, que se sorprenda, que tenga una experiencia única. moment was overwhelming. I was totally upset. I was thinking about, wow, 40 partners from all over the world and I'm one of them. Um, but then I thought, hey, maybe I'm lucky, maybe I don't. I try my best, as everybody did. But it's not about a competition, it's about learning from the other guys, for me. Uh, and I think it's the same for them. I 
muchas versiones de cócteles cubanos eh, interpretados por barman de otros países y han hecho su, su versión uh, del mojito, del daiquiri con uh, diferentes frutas y han mezclado y, y lo tomas y está bien, está muy bien y vendría muy bien incluso aquí en el trópico que hace mucho calor eh, eh, variar algunos cócteles y hacerlos muy afrutados, muy refrescantes y mezclándolo con el ron habana club. えっと、どちらかというと僕はあの、他の世界中のバーテンダーと、ま、教える、教わる、もう含めて両方ですね。共有したいという部分が僕はま、必要かなと思う。え、やっぱり基本バーテンダーに必要なのは、え、テクニック
finger. How bad is it? It's alright. No, <laughs> shift a little bit difficult. I had to kind of change my technique that I was using and, and all those kind of things. But I just wanted to make sure no one had any thumb in their drinks. So I thought it was probably for the best that I wore a big plastic glove. <laughs> surtout pas finir second ou troisième, je... soit perdre le premier jour, et puis après j'étais tranquille, j'étais en vacances, soit si j'étais là jusqu'au bout, il fallait que je gagne, parce qu'on ne se rappelle pas du second. His drinks were very universal. They were ingredients that you could source anywhere. Um, and, and mine, you know, they, they were all homemade, essentially. But what I really wanted to do was I wanted to reflect my bartending style. Ici, j'ai regardé l'anglais euh, faire son passage, Ryan, qui paraissait très à l'aise et qui parlait énormément au jury. Et, et, et je me suis levé et j'ai quitté la salle. Et il y a Aude Vernier de chez Pernod, euh, je sais pas, qui a dû capter quelque chose et qui est venu vers moi et qui, qui m'a encouragé, qui m'a dit euh, oublie, oublie ce qu'il est en train de faire, euh, fais ton truc comme tu sais faire, place tes blagues, euh, va, va, va au bout de, de, de ta démarche et tu vas voir ça va le faire. Close, of course, yeah, because um, now there are only nuances uh, between them, um, and uh, yeah, I guess it's a, it's a, a close race, uh, and uh, the next 90 minutes uh, will decide um, who's really uh, on top. This is why I thought the competition was so strong, because you had an opportunity to see what we're like behind a bar. And that's really what it boils down to. Um, and it was, I had so much fun with Chris, because I think we've both got a kind of similar attitude. We've got a nice kind of like love of the way, the, you know, quite a relaxed bartending style. That's the difference between wine and a cocktail. With a bottle of wine, the magic happened 10 years ago in France. With a cocktail, that magic is happening right here, right now in front of you. Ladies and gentlemen, silence please. Your winner and the world's winner, Monsieur Julien Esco, La Belle France. Champion du monde euh, du concours Havana Club, c'est une très belle récompense, c'est un beau titre pour moi, pour mes clients, pour mes amis, pour euh, mon équipe, euh, pour la famille, euh, ouais, c'est très valorisant. The drinks were 150 points out of 250, so where's that other 100 points It's about the soul and prowess of the bartender. Um, and Julien excelled in, in, in this area, not even to mention his drinks, which were also impeccable. Yo quiero ron, Ahana Club del Mejor. Ron, yo quiero ron, Ahana Club del Mejor. Que show, ron, yo quiero ron, Ahana Club del Mejor. Ron, yo quiero ron, Ahana Club del Mejor. Ah, ron, yo quiero ron, Ahana Club del Mejor. Ron, yo quiero ron, Ahana When we receive people in Havana, we just want to give them the best. And the reaction that we receive, their love. I've, I've never seen so many hugs in any other competition, any other uh, hospitality event in the world, really. And actually between strangers, people who, who barely know each other for one day. This is where pure joy comes from. Buena tarde, Miji. ¿Qué tú estás buscando aquí? Ay, padrino, yo estoy desesperado, padrino. Yo vengo a verlo usted porque me dijeron que viniera para ver si usted tenía la solución para mi problema, padrino. Ah, aguántate un momentico ahí. Porque lo que no te puede coger es la pandemia. ¿Qué pasó? Ay, ¿qué voy a hacer con mi vida? Padrino, quítame esta sal de encima. Mire que he gastado dinero y esta salsa no camina. Padrino, quítame esta sal de encima. Señores, estoy 
desesperado al punto de tomar trinina. Marino, quítame esta sal de encima. Pero ese gusto yo no se lo voy a dar a mi vecina. Marino, quítame esta sal de encima. Marino, yo presiento que mi vida está salaza. En vez de ir para adelante, yo siento que va para atrás. Le voy a hacer una historia de mi cruda realidad para que usted a mí me diga si es mentira o es verdad. Resulta que un buen día iba a mi centro laboral. Estaba muy contento porque me iban a pagar. Después de haber cobrado, ya todo estaba normal. Me pagaron la divisa y la moneda nacional. Me ah, di unas vacaciones para poder descansar. Y con ese dinerito, algunos días para final. Me monto en una guagua ya que yo estaba en candela. Para cuando me bajé, me habían llevado la billetera. En ese mismo instante, me recordé de mi abuela y la menté como 10 veces mientras busqué mi cartera. Al fin me 